Hey everyone, with you Len Litvinova. In this video I'm going to start a new series of videos about layouts. We will use Next.js TypeScript and we will try to create a really amazing layout or which called, I don't know, I called it like Cosmos. We have already started it on my Russian YouTube channel and my Russian subscribers were really, really excited around it. And I also want to share this um, on this channel. Yes, communication between different channels and um, try to study different auditory and communicate and work with different auditory, share, share things and teach. This is important. I want to share with you what we will do. Uh, this is layout Cosmos, uh, which actually uh, we found on my Russian channels. I asked uh, people oh, what they want to do and uh, we found several layouts and, they, and I had a quiz and they choose uh, this one like, oh, this is so excited, this is so cool. And yeah, uh, this layout, layout consists from different screens. First one, second one. And yeah, actually there are a lot of everything. Uh, how you can see, it's not super easily out. There are different borders and etc. It looks like a gallery. Also here we can see that there are additional, I mean, different pictures depend on what you choose here, which roadmap. Yes, and one, two, three, four, five different pictures and also for example here we have something around model where you can click more and open things around that uh, and also uh, my Russian uh, subscribers found even a um, real website which did that layout I found it in Figma and uh, it was in free um, possible to download for free and I strongly strongly believe that I can do that I mean uh, share with knowledges and yes yeah, there are different models windows here and yeah looks really really excited okay and in this lesson I'm going to work with you on first page and to discover this and create everything all pieces for this page how you can see, you could see uh, we have here a logo, we have here a social uh, buttons and several buttons and also a title and uh, look at this button. It's really not super easy. It's quite interesting. There are different borders here and for CSS part uh, it's really not easy and we even discussed it with uh, people how it's possible to do there were different uh, opinion how it's possible to do and etc I found several ways how it's possible to uh, resolve this task and I will um, provide in this lesson one of it and okay this layout and we will start to do that and okay are you ready i already i hope you are ready to start to study with this amazing layout but before of course not forget to subscribe on this channel press bell icon for not missing next videos for example about this layout i think that i also will look how people react but anyway i think that it could be really really interesting thing for studying and not forget to press bell icon, subscribe and go to code. Okay, let's start to do this thing. Uh, we will use Next.js. Actually, I already have something what is ready and because I will use this for this lesson because yeah I have two channels and I want to develop both of them yeah 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 I know uh, here I also can improve my English part I know okay um, I left this cosmos layout uh, as my additional thing where I can just 
for help thing sometimes yes and I think that um, yeah for some styles might be I will use copy paste just to not make this video extremely long you know and make it more concentrate on a task okay we have a huge task for now and let's start uh, first of all I need a console terminal I called it like that and go 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 here do 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 um, downloads yes. okay um, I uh, I want to use Next.js for this just for create template and um, not spend a lot of time on webpack and etc we will use react and typescript block no not this one well getting started with this thing uh, and use this command okay and what i need to hear here cosmos layout yeah yep and typescript yes Yes, Lint, yes. And we just set it. Cosmos layout for my English auditory. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go. And set the Cosmos. Ah, not here. <laughs> the Cosmos layout in. Okay, what we need to do npm run dev and after it we can see on our new window part Cohos 3000 we can see Next.js project and let's open it in VS Code Editor file add folder to workspace and en yes well there is one and second one i don't know is it possible to okay we will work in this one as this is from another channel okay uh, what we have here we have pages and information which we can see on the screen i mean not here on this screen is located in index tsx file this is everything of it yes and for this part, we just need to remove it and type here, I don't know, one, two, three. Well, after it, we need to clean everything, clean this thing and clean all this thing. Okay, first of all, from what we can start this layout, just also clean, I think, global styles and home. I just can remove everything delete move to remove yes and okay and what we have for now we have error because 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 somewhere we import styles and we need to remove this thing as well Okay, let's look on this layout. How we can see the RAM? Uh, first of all, from what we can start this layout? I usually start with adding different images. I mean, import different images. And also un from understanding which fonts here we need to use. And also install it, these fonts for uh, this, uh, I mean, for, um, for this layout, I, I, I mean, for this project, yes. I, I just thinking now that I might be to put it in different uh, ways code editor, just not to make you confuse. Um, new window and open folder downloads. Uh, Cosmos layout here because I, I really will just copy some parts 
but don't want to make you feel um, remove remove folder from workspace okay now we have just only one project here uh, first of all we need somehow to install these fonts if you look on um, figma file we can see different fonts here we can click actually on each oh sorry there is my picture here <laughs> uh, sorry for that but anyway uh, well uh, we have here um, different fonts yes if we click on different text we can see um, different fonts and we need to install it uh, for example how we can understand which fonts this layout have we can use special plugin font fascia you can install it into figma and if you click here you can see all fonts which this layout have for example nini machine bold mazart medium regular bold this font which i never will be able to pronounce name you this font and all these font we need to install and how we can do that first of all i went to google fonts uh, fonts.google.com to check is it is these fonts are free but no they are not because of it i started to look for on different sites where i can able to download these fonts but these fonts need to be really really extremely accurate because if they have for example um i mean if they need to buy for price you need to buy them for price in other case you will have problems uh, with low and this is really really extremely important well but anyway i found uh, some sites where i download these fonts and um, i also put it uh, into my um, into my project you can find on github and for uh, teaching purposes we uh, will use them uh, okay uh, for fonts first of all i found all needed fonts which i need and created a pub um, folder uh, fonts uh, you can find the link on github and also download for you all these fonts uh, I just found some files, uh, some of them ha has some OTF, I don't remember, um, extension, some of them has extension OTF, some of them WOV2, it's just only how I found them, I uh, the better extensions is WOV2 and it's quite supportable for last browser and everything is okay. For some of them I didn't find it and I didn't want to transform it somehow and decided to use it just like as there is. And I just copy it, all fonts, and put it here. I think... Okay, I will do it, you know, like that fonts copy yes all fonts we import here uh, also uh, there is some things uh, about uh, background new folder background uh, in previous uh, backgrounds it's about images on uh, this screen and uh, this screen uh, it's about this image with a lot of Cosmo um, trains. How it's called? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this picture and this picture with Earth. And I just um, also imported from the previous my project. You also can find uh, every scene of it in GitHub. And pages, okay, styles, public, background, hop, okay. Mm. And also I worked a little, I imported in 
extension you can see uh, the sizes of these pictures uh, it's quite large but at the same time I wanted that they were quite um, contrast I mean uh, without any noise and this one as well and also I uh, use a tiny PNG tinypng.com for um, for small these pictures uh, and for now they their weight is quite good it's not super small but because they are really uh, quite I mean there are a lot of pieces here gradient noises and etc I think for these backgrounds this is okay and for this background as well well, but anyway, I use this uh, site tinypng.com uh, to small these pictures. For make these pictures smaller. Okay, go next. We have background, we have fonts, and also what I wanted to copy. I wanted to copy some parts with styles. Um, because I also use reset and just copy everything of it and put into style folder okay I need to find it again styles folder and what we have here okay we have global CSS home model CSS and reset CSS first of all uh, no one of this file is not connected yet to the application and let's start to connect. First of all, reset.scss. I usually use it just um, for make a different browsers the same uh, between different letters and just remove all uh, styles by default. And after it, we anyway will normalize them in our component system. And usually I always use reset.scss. I just copied it from, I don't know, uh, website you can just google reset.css and you can find it and first of all we need to um, add this thing I believe it's somewhere in up yes if we go up to 6 we can import it here import import uh, styles reset scss yep and after it we can see ah there is no sas this is important we need to install sas and pm install install save sas because i use sas pm run dev and yes like that mm -hmm. and for now you can see that this styles is really connected because if you for example remove this line uh, there is some um, spaces here yeah and also you can see if i for example have here h1 doo -doo -doo -doo, there is special style from users for titles and if I return reset everything started be the same super reset yes okay after it what we have okay we added reset CSS after it now there is a global file I worked with it already actually what we have here I added here a lot of fonts all fonts which we have here through font phase and uh, I added font family for example we have mothered h3 yes fonts which is font with differences in font way because of it this is bold and I import bold this is medium and this is regular 400 everything else the same and we just import needed font 
uh, bold, medium, regular. Yes. After it, this phone is this bold one, 700. Okay. This is Nino Machina. This is bold one, 700. Nino Machina medium 500. Nino Machina regular 400. And also two phones um, Octo Square 5 and 400. Yep. And and yes, import all of these phones. And also I just said by default Mother H, which is sans serif. Uh, it means there is no special, I mean, <laughs> things around letter, which is from serif family. And yes, yeah, this is family sans serif. And made everything color white. This is global styles. And we can uh, also global, global SCSS. And you can see that everything started to be white. And actually our font already is right here, but this is okay. Uh, we also, you know, what we can do, for example, to put, I think, background, for example, black. And yeah, we can see it. If I... If I remove this font, we can see that letters start to be with serif, sun, serif family. Yes, uh, and I just returned it and we see that everything is okay. Well, next uh, thing uh, also which we have, this is styles. Um, this is, I just comment for now. And we will speak about it later. Okay, now we import globals and reset.css. And let's start to work with our layout. Now, we will work in this file. Actually, this is our home page. And everything what we have here will be in our home page. And let's look what we will have here. Uh, we have here if we look on layouts again, we have several sections, actually section one, section two, section three, and etc. And we can call it like that. Let's call it like article. But I'm not sure that it's super right tag for a so large page. Is this article or not? But first section, which we have, and we could have here class names. Uh, which is for section, styles section, and styles section main. Section main uh, will be responsible for picture inside. Where we will import styles, import styles from dot dot slash styles dot home dot model scss yes and this is this file actually and we call it like with models and because of it we can use styles with dot section and section main after it we need to import class from class names And we need to install this package npm e save. What is this package about? Actually, it just helps to merge different styles. And for example, you have here conditions or a lot of different things, even a function. And this um, library is quite helpful for working with classes. And for example, if we have here a condition is true, yeah, we can uh, is true and this thing. And if, for example, this is false, uh, we not will have see. Um, we will not see this style in HTML, it will be just removed uh, this library. We will not see undefined, for example, and etc. Because of it, it's really, really 
helpful library and yeah you don't need to use quarters and other things okay uh, let's go next we can check what we have for now how uh, we need to start and then run there yes what we have for now we have black background if we go to html part we can see z z z z yeah we just can see this things we have not classes yet but we can add it okay now let's go to home and work with section part i uncomment all section part here and for now i just remove everything of it i want to left just one thing and we will speak about it well we have section this is a uh, 100 hit uh, depend on screen and also we have paddings which is uh, which is I decided to use RAM YAM because we have a, a responsive layout and as the base font we set here in pixels uh, inside everything uh, inside any other CSS file I will use pixels or RAM uh, but sometimes it's exclude because for example for mean height we need um, mean width uh, 600 pixels okay here i just set some things and after it i set background for main for this section main i set background size cover display flex for center text which we will have here this text uh, i think that header will be position absolute and this will be menu position fixed yes because of it we can center all things inside we can put in top a put in bottom for rim and background url for center no repeat no repeat okay well and what we could do we install background here background screen one again it have to be located here screen one background and we can use rotor like that and no repeat no repeat uh, and also background size cover which is also important i will put it after uh, and let's look what we have for now okay for now we have really cool amazing layout which has mean height uh, 600 pixels and our text currently is centered yes okay what next next we need to add some things here for example we have header if we look on this layout we have header we have navigation and we have some content which is here uh, and also we will use component uh, approach for every single of it we use components and because we work with react yep yeah? okay let's look head try to use header class name um, uh, this thing and inside of it we will have component logo yes we have logo we have social networks networks we have button svg uh, just okay this is just only button uh, which uh, could have properties on click yeah or we have to do something <laughs> might be on click this button and inside of it we have a uh, text white paper what's next next uh, we have navigation and this is about this thing navigation after it what we have we have title we can uh, use a special component title for this scene 
they are slightly different. We will have differences in title between sizes. Okay, and we use here div and title. And what we have here from dust to dawn. And I just copy this title and put it here. I also use this uh, not break space, don't know how it's called, right? Just to make uh, text more accurate. So no one uh, small piece of text not be separate, you know? And it make really text super, I mean, accurate. And also what we have, we have a list of buttons and I just uh, what I want to use. Well, uh, we have list. Uh, button. One button. And second one. And here is mint connect wallet and yes and I think on this part we can finish all component parts about this page what next we need to do next we need to create folder components and uh, for here we need to new folder is what which is logo we need to create components for all of this component social networks um new folder button navigation new folder navigation new folder title and that's it yes i think so yeah, yeah, super, <laughs> super, super, super. Well, after it, we need to create uh, these components inside. I mean, I just uh, copy one thing with logo and look, uh, show you how it could look like. New file index T6, we use TypeScript. And I just put it here. What we have here, we have link because um this is link to main page usually a logo for every different size it's usually just link on my page and at the same time it is uh h1 title uh what means is that it's the most important title on this page and yeah this is logo also because we use typescript i put it here an interface uh, and we provided it here and um, if for example we will need in future to add additional properties we can open it and use it for now we have nothing but anyway I decided to left it also we import need to import styles style to model SCSS and might be yeah something like that actually we can remove this thing and do like that yeah and remove this thing as well because we have no props and we have just only this thing about components for example if you have a lot of different components uh, i mean um, a lot of logos I don't know you can pass through properties this title and for example it could be children and just use here children but for now we just have one component one logo and we can put title here well uh, what is about style part uh, we have dot logo and inside of it we have a because we import here is logo inside of it we have link uh, what we need to do with logo here 
uh, okay let's import all components and after it work with every single component here before we need to import logo from components components logo and import social network from the dot components social networks yes update button and update navigation navigation update title 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 yes and we need to create everything of it here uh, here index t6 uh, also i style model as css create yeah i will try just copy it just uh i didn't want to copy button <laughs> Under it down, reveal and finder, remove button part, and just copy this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing. Okay. And after it, we need to to do to, to, to somehow present things around button first of all button what we have here import from react styles we have button here we have some props on click and children how you can see here we have button on click and children because i imported here i have button props and after it i also can just return it i think something like that Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and here we have button. One, two, three. Yeah. Button. Yeah, it will be button. Here we can also put children This art button. Oh my god, people, you even not no cannot imagine what we use here yeah. okay button logo we did next thing about navigation part and here we also i think we will have something like that for navigation import this is this fragment we just use everything of it in our component because of it i will import I have imported it and here just also return uh, I think here is enough navigation for now yes just save it like that also we need put social networks okay social networks is this one and what we have for social networks uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. social networks we have here and have here blah, blah, blah. and here we will have all lean social networks yes i can remove it here as well social networks props and last thing which we need to do this is title which is <coughs> it looks like that yes this is link react not children react node medium and large yeah uh, here 
I also put it um, here will be h2 title children well I also added here size and children because we will have uh, how you can see uh, if look on layout we have a smaller size medium 66 pixel and large one 80 but actually they looks like you know uh, the same I mean uh, with um, the same level of important yeah actually you know I just look on this font and this one and I'm thinking about what if for example we have a small layout and because of it the letters try to be smaller might be because there is no space for them yeah but here we actually have a smallest font size but okay for now we just left it uh, with small and large uh, after it in next lessons i think we will fix it we can fix it well i think that we uh, did all our components we can see them here and now we can uh, try to structure all of them okay we have these components we have home uh, header main header and button list we will work with it here and let's start to work with logo social i mean first of all start with logo yes uh, go to here what we have here h1 and link we just need to work with a little with styles if you look on what we have it's color like link there is a text decoration after it and we need to fix it somehow and how we can do it i just copy styles i will not type it everything uh, if you need to um, uh, download this project, you just can install it and to check every single property, but I just explain. Text decoration removes this line. Uh, color uh, white is just color white for link. Display in line block because we need to set width and height. Here we will use a picture. This is not, we will not use text here, we will use a picture. Because of it, uh, here we need new folder images and uh, use Cosmos layout, components, logo images and logo PNG. Um, I put it here. Yes, uh, this is picture actually. Uh, transparent this is PNG because if uh, I tried to use SVG and it was really extremely large because of it I used PNG with uh, uh, which is twice larger than uh, this size I put background here background size contain and text in then just remove text uh, it's important to have real text in this button just because if, for example, a site uses with different readers, uh, you, it, could, it will be possible to read this text. But for now, uh, we just need beautiful picture and because of it, we remove text and put it as background. And what next? We put hover and visit it to color white and hover opacity 0.7 and put transition here let's look what we have i just need to slightly <laughs> small my layout and we see that logo is really looks quite good yes Lo logo is ready we finished logo okay next social networks go to social networks what we have here for social networks we have uh, several social networks and i just what i did here i created a list with, with all of them and put it here social network id1 title discord class name discord and i put a link to facebook yeah i know you can put it to discord as well um also because i just don't know what is what it is 
Discord and because of it I put it to Facebook. Yeah, I know. But because of just layout for practice, I think this is okay. Second is Twitter. I know this. <laughs> Uh, this social network and last one is on design which is on design and I just created these social networks if you on your layout uh, have a lot of I mean lists with different social networks so then you should to pass these social networks through properties but because again we have just only one list I decided to put it inside to component. Usually component approach means that it's quite flexible and you can change it. Uh, but uh, because we have a simple layout, we for now we use it like that. Okay, what's next? Next we have all and I here just put the class which is styles social networks. Inside of it I also put some code. We have a social network map. We just go through all of these social networks. We use key, social network ID, class name. Also put, we need key here, because of it I put it everywhere ID. And inside of it we have link with href to link target blank, rel no uh, referer. And also put it some classes here, which is style for link and style for social network depend on which class name we have here. Because in styles I slightly fix them. Yes, and we in styles we will set images for all of this um, network. Because of it I also put it here additional class. And I also use class name class names a library for that. Okay, and here we need to create new folder which is images and copy social networks uh, not from here. Who Yes, images and three social network. On design, game icon, Twitter icon. And next, what we need to do? Um, okay, where is this images? Not navigation. Need it in social networks. Replace. Mm, yeah. Social networks. I have it here. Next. Uh, go we save this layout we actually if we reload it we already see these social networks now we need to work with styles and I will do that <laughs> just copy everything and explain okay uh, what we have here I just will explain all of these styles uh, first of all uh, social networks, how we can see they are uh, together. I mean, uh, they have in one line located, they have some spaces between. And because of it, I decided to use display flex, gap 3W, uh, 3VW and transition for also we will, when we will hover. I think, I, I don't know for what I use it. No, I don't need transition here, sorry. <laughs> well, and Yes, after it we can see that they are in line. After it we need to work with, 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 with link item link networks link. I not use item here at all this class. We actually can remove it if I not use it. Yes, for what I need it. If I if there is no nothing here. For links, what we have? Color white, text intent again, display line block with the same, it's like a square, yes, background repeat, background position, background size, because we will use backgrounds here. Also, we have styles for hover and visited, white, and hover opacity, po -po -po, 
uh, dot eight, and here we need to put transition uh, all and what I think three uh, s and okay what we have here we can see nothing for now and uh, next we what we need to work with with these class names and put right background image and also a slightly fixed background size so they looks like more i mean good between each other because for example last picture is quite large and i just slightly play with it I just imported images and what we have just these cool things yeah <laughs> cool okay social networks is ready go next next is button <laughs> it's the most interesting things to be honest okay go to button this button how you can see it's quite I mean designable and it have interesting shape around it and yes and also there is um, uh, arrows here and they started with black well on this button on another cha channel we're really thinking about a lot about how to resolve this thing and it was several things around you know clip pass clip pass generator for example no not this one let's look on this one when you can create um, really different shapes with this property but the problem was that border didn't work normally and I just tried to can share with you what we had here, but uh, yeah, I removed. Okay, PM run dev. It was problem with border because you can set different shape, but if you have a border like that, I mean, we have here border. On clip pass, you have border like here, here, here and disappear some here and here is disappear and here for example we have border it don't work really normal and i also thinking about how it's possible to do and i created a different i mean uh, svg images from left and right side just to save proportions uh, because we can't put uh, it like background even if it is VG because if it background it will be um, responsible and not good uh, we have to have the same buttons uh, with same borders for different types of text for different sizes of buttons yeah and I decided to use sync with SVG and just to create it an illustrator two pictures which is quite large from left side and right side and just um, cut it uh, from both sides uh, yeah and I, I can show you these pictures and how I did it uh, well I think this reveal and finder images well layout yen layout components layout yen components button okay i think these images now ah, they are almost not not possible to see them but uh, here left and right side it's this svg images and uh, i just imported svg and let's look what we have now well this button it looks like that um yes 
I imported SVG from Illustrator. I did it usually export like Z. For example, use our boards. Okay, replace, okay. And after it, I just uses this part. Do -do -do -do. Wow, it's not possible to see. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I found it. Okay, cool. Um, it looks like that. I mean, like that, yeah. And if you put, for example, I just show you like how it looks in code. I will remove it. I just import SVG and remove all information here. I'm just left SVG files. Okay, delete. Move. After it, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, and there are two SVG, button border left and button border right. Uh, SVG is here, SVG is here. And there are several paths here. I put it here, styles, styles for line and styles for arrow. And it started be looks like that. And button border left, it for just border this SVG with overflow hidden. Yeah, this is really interesting decision. Okay. Let's look how CSS looks like because it's really quite interesting as well. First of all, what we need, I just um, Oh, Op. Uh, reload this thing. Yeah, for now it looks quite strange, but we already possible to see something. Okay, we have a remove border, remove box shadow, remove fonts, background, and again remove box shadow, color white. Put padding here, transition, cursor, position relative because we will locate um, our inside things around illustration part inside um, this position absolute. Okay, reload. Background, no, this is interesting. Okay, border left, border right. After it, I have full line. Some things I put stroke FFF and stroke width, and fill is none. And yeah, we can see already our line part. I also unblock arrow. I put here also transition and fill with white. We can see arrow here. And after it, what we also need to do, we have to set height. As this is around 4, uh, 4 rm uh, and I use this, this left thing, yes, uh, border, just border, yeah, inside of it we have left, inside of it we have position absolute, we put left border to left, with width 50% and SVG height uh, 100, yeah? For right, we have um, position absolute that index right top height with 51%, just a little bigger than, so we can exclude even small pixel, which could, uh, we can see, and also SVG put here. Uh, look what we have for now. Everything is good. Uh, and for text, uh, if we hover, I think I had hover here. Yeah, we when we hover, we have color black, button arrow is black, button line is black white, and yeah, around it we have not center. This is not needed. 
and we need locate text slightly upper yes and something like that we have uh, let's look on html what we have so you understand it's much better look at that we have left border and right border and inside of it we have large svg if we have if we will put uh, just only one svg it will resize and became bigger smaller and we need always all always the same sizes and because of it i decided to use this decision it's possible to resolve this clip pass but it need more polygons for borders because i had problems with borders it was border only here and here and might be here i mean not all of them and this was really not good uh, and uh, i decided to use svg but it's possible to try clip pass because uh, it could be might be better yeah sometimes okay we finish our button part next what we need to go this is navigation part it's next thing which we need okay let's go to navigation do, 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 navigation what is navigation part let's look navigation this is this part it's position fixed with home factions and roadmaps and this is navigation and i just to show what we have here if i go to navigation component i will look on it and we have link faction road okay uh, because we have just only one navigation it looks like you know with um with social network things because we have just only one list i decided to left it like that uh, i mean to put it inside to the company but if you have um, um, I mean different navigations it's better to use another way with properties but because we have one I put everything here also I put here active a uh, link for true after it it have to be like animation between screens first screen second screen last screen and I just um, put it active true active false and etc title roadmap faction and home and well what next and inside of it we have navigation where we go through all of this nav part navigation we have links we have um a link inside and we also have a navigation star i put it like a independent component and we have link and span with start except the last one yeah and here we have href which is from there we have key for, for fragment um, all of these uh, uh, components on the same level we have styles and we have link title link title and href link href link navigation link active and if it's active we have styles active yeah and i think that that's it mm -hmm. okay uh ways navigation and how I uh, worked with it, what we have here, we have for navigation independent font, display flex, align item center, position fixed, left gap between them, and right in what for rotated. And that index is quite large. Uh, let's look what we have here. Yeah, I think. Yes, looks not super bad, but okay. 
uh, also we have uh, relocated this navigation a little in global styles for link uh, we have uh, color white text decoration not opacity transition padding left hover color opacity white again for active we always have opacity one and by default we have opacity dot seven how you could see yeah and yes and this is also close and star display block with hacked background and this is for star we also need a folder images here and dun, 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 downloads component um, to do, 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 navigation star component layout in uh, navigation images star and yes looks like that <laughs> mm -hmm. this is SVG actually yeah and we just import it here and that's it let's look what we have navigation looks quite good now I actually not sure that it bold it looks like medium oh it's not bold it's 500 yeah it's slightly smaller okay what we need to fix last thing is is title and after it we finish all our components okay go to title what we have for title uh, for title i added size medium for default and large if for second things for example here and let's try to work with it now title and styles okay index okay import oh uh, title will looks like that h2 uh, size title and depend on size we have uh, independent styles yeah we don't need to hear link actually yeah and here we use title props it means that for example if we forget children it actually have to have um, space need to children you're missing it <laughs> yeah and because it we not miss children and let's also work with styles uh, font family if you look on our layout font family for this thing is this interesting font uh, la 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 uppercase letter spacing because letters it's quite separate between each other um, and 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 what we also have line hit little font page 400 for medium i also set font size and for large i set different font size and here i also put it margin bottom and text align center okay that's it we have something around it all components is ready and we just need to locate everything on our page i close all components and location will be in this style okay go we have header section main and list okay we have section padding box size in min height these things we have header and display grid grid template columns okay for header we have display grid we have three sections here logo uh, social networks and button yeah if you look here logo social networks and button for first we put one fr for others auto auto aligns item center gap between these things position absolute we have top left right that index nine and look what we have here our header is here yes after it we have button list which is which is which is which is which is here uh, and we just need to put it online and that's it 
and yeah for now we have something around it our layout is ready I just only thinking about um, this fixed menu because it you see um, not always is possible to see but I think maybe uh, we could for mobile version to put it I mean if we have extremely narrow browser we could put it I don't know in the um, uh, sandwich how it called yes and might be like that or for now we just left it as it is but yeah in next time it might be should to think about it okay my uh, lovely subscribers lovely friends i hope that this lesson was really extremely uh, helpful for you you understand how it's possible to create first screen for this amazing layout i also thinking to continue this layout and to try work with different galleries which we have here and models because of it not forget to subscribe on this channel press bell icon like button and see you in next videos with you were lena litvinova bye bye